course, this is Elton John's Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. I thought it needed no introduction, so I didn't give it one. <clears throat> but uh, if you haven't seen my whiteboard lessons before, I am Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I teach by ear using letters on the whiteboard instead of traditional music notation. For those of you who want to learn to play by ear, it's just an alternative way to learn. It's better to play this way than to not play at all, I always say. So uh, give it a try. This is the free part one I always put on YouTube. I'm going to teach you the, the part one here. And then the rest of the lessons I put on my website, which is webpianoteacher.com. Why do I do that? Because I'm a music teacher. That's the way I've made a living for the last 20 years. I still make a living that way. So, uh, you know, do, do okay doing that. And uh, you can find the lessons on there as a member. You can also find almost 1,500 other video lessons on there, arranging, you know, all kinds of things on there. Uh, Facebook is the best way to contact me. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. I'm also on Twitter. My name is webpianoteacher. Enough of that. Let's get to the lesson. Okay. Uh, we're in the key of C, which is, uh, you know, no flats, no sharps to worry about, at least not in the key signature. So, a lot of people like to play in the key of C. <clears throat> we're going to start uh, here, and, and I will mention this is a hired request. Uh, people do hire me to do certain songs, and I, I, you know, if you do that, you get to download them. I'll give you a private link and to have them. But I also put these lessons up on my website as well. So uh, that's the, how I choose the songs I'm doing. Is uh, I'll take a batch of hired requests, and I won't take any while I'm doing that till I finish, and then I'll take more after I get done with that batch. But uh, I think this is about number oh, 15, 16, 17. I can't remember what number in this batch. But we start with E, G, C, E on the right hand. And it's a C chord. It's got four notes in it because the E is double. You know, we have C, E, G, but two E's, and that's okay as long as we have one of each. And uh, here's middle C, so we're right here. All right, so we're going to play that one. Then on count two, we're going to play the E really soft. Then on count three, we'll play the left hand middle C really soft. And then we'll do... Okay, so that's one little group there. Ba, 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 ba. And I'll do this sometimes for something like that to group it together. So G, C, F, E, D, C. Ba, 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 is what we have. G, C, F, E, D, C. Now on the left hand, sometimes to save space, uh, instead of writing a chord vertically, I'll write it horizontally. Um, and that's what I'm doing here. C, G, C. I put a bracket, and that's my way of telling you. It is played blocked like that, not one at a time. So it's C, G, C. So it's this C, G, and then middle C with your left hand. You play that, and then you play the C really soft there. Okay? So it's like count one is one, two, three. See how that goes? One, two, three. Now, if you're not really listening closely or have the volume turned down, you don't even hear those two notes. So, but I, I get on the headphones, I listen really close to try to get every note I can. One, two, three. Okay, so these are, are what I hear from the album version. I don't use any sheet music uh, for a lot of things, so that's what I'm doing on this one. Just what I hear on there. Now, so one, two, three. measure here, our next box is one, and two, and three. Alright, uh, so we're going to have F, E, C, and then we'll have that C again, and then a middle C there, okay? So one, and two, three, four, and left hand has a B flat octave. Now you have to follow me in the lessons to know when to do an octave sometimes and when not, because a lot of times the left hand is doing octaves, and sometimes it'll just be single notes. <clears throat> now, this is an octave, so it's the B flat on the thumb, the B flat on the pinky, even though I don't have two B flats written. It's a B flat octave. Now, these two B flats, I tried to write them a little higher than that one, are just the thumb B flat. Two times, and then you play it a third time right here. And then you'll just play a quick F right there in the left hand. Let's look how they go together. You play this together. Okay, so this is together. The octave. Left, left, and then this is together. Right, and then the 
left hand comes in real quick at the end. So here's the rhythm in slow motion. Ready? Go! Precursor to that A octave that's coming up. All right, let's do both boxes together. Ready, go. One, two, three. And three, four. We have the next box, which is going to be C, F, A. By the way, this is still introduction. The singing has not started. Elton has not begun to sing yet. C, F, A. <clears throat> and then the F you've already played right here by itself. And then we have C, E, G, C all together. And then the thumb C right there. And then E, G, C together. Left hand is doing A octave. So I'm telling you this is an octave. So two A's. A on the thumb, A on the pinky. And then another A octave. And then move to the left to a G octave. Okay, we put hands together. We play this together. One. Let's see. Two. And. So this is count one. This is count two. This is the and of two. Sometimes the video slow down. Well, that's why you have a pause button. Hit the pause button and then get a little piece of it and then hit it again and you can go a little further. But you can use the pause button to practice there. Um, let's do all three boxes here together. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Two and three. Four. Alright, now this is going to be. Oh, we are, uh, I was going to do three. Let's do it again. Ready, go. One, two, three. And then we're at the next one. All right. So this next box, <clears throat> I'm going to go from here and include this because it, it's really part of it. So starting there. So we have A, C, F, A. If you're playing four note chords and you have trouble playing four note chords, leave out the bottom note. Whenever there's four, just leave out the bottom and it'll, and it'll sound okay. All right? And then middle C. And then back to A, C, F, A. And then we have A, D, F, A. Changes it to D minor chord, an inversion of a D minor chord. A, D, F, A. Left hand has F octave. And then... Uh, F is a single F. This is an octave F. That's a single F on the thumb. And then that's an octave again, okay? So octave, single F on the thumb, and another F octave. Uh, and then D, C, B, A, G. These are, of course, octaves. So D octave low. There's middle C, so we're down here. D octave, C octave, B natural octave, A octave, and down to G. Okay, so starting right here, slow motion. Ready, go. One, Pretty strong, so you play that loud. All right, uh, let's go from the beginning. Ready, go. One, two, three. I can't light. Okay, so here's where the singing starts. Um, all right, uh, uh, we're going to have to stop here. I'll do the part two for this board on the website and all the subsequent, subsequent parts. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later.